And here's the deck, the water out here. It just rained. Whoa! Yeah. Can't leave this door open. Because it's gonna slam. Well, looking out over the complex, and we have an ocean view here. It's a little disappointing, but <laughs> disappointing. We shouldn't be disappointed in this place. No, do get locked out. No, my phone. Your what? My phone. I stumbled. And I dropped my phone. Oh, and it went over the fence. On this side? No, over yeah. there in the abandoned side. Oh my gosh. Not here to hang out. So Lisa, Lisa dropped her phone from the, the sixth floor. It into, went flying, man. Into the uh, adjacent property, which is abandoned. So now we're going to have to hop this fence and uh, get in there. All right, I think we're getting close to the scene of where the phone fell. Now, we're going to see if we can call it. See if it's still alive. Okay, so it should be under here, right? Mm -hmm. Somewhere. We found it. <laughs> Thank you. From up there is where it fell. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah. What? No damage. <laughs> thanks, to, <laughs> thanks to the palm frond. Oh my god. Yeah, because it's just lit on this palm frond. <laughs> and because it bounced off somebody's door. Oh, yeah, balcony there. Yeah. yeah. They're awning. <laughs> They're awning. All right, so let's uh, go back. Get off the, the property here. Stay away from this. Oh, I thought I'd kick it. Yeah, yeah, why don't you? All right, well, we're going to do our hike for the day here. Do the wild stuff. Though, so I don't know how interested the current might be anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, how do we get in here? Yeah, we could have, have drinks in the pool. So Lisa, now that we've recovered your phone, I, I don't quite understand how it all happened. Well, let me explain. Come on over here. Oh, hey. So I was walking over here, and I had my phone out because I want to take pictures of this this deserted lot. I thought it was interesting, and the ocean right there. And I tripped on something. I don't know what it was. And I, and I had my camera not not super secure, you know, getting ready to like take a picture, and suddenly it went flying. It just flew out of your hand? It went flying out of my hand. I'm like, ah, which you heard earlier. And I watched in slow motion as it bounced off this awning right below us, this vinyl awning, and took a trajectory 
Through <laughs> the air. It's like a 20 foot trajectory like over. Straight out. From where we found it at the base of that tree, that's like 20 feet from this awning. Bounced into that palm frond down there. Thank goodness for the palm frond. The break gets fall again because we're on the sixth floor here. And vanished from view. And, uh, and uh, at first I was like, oh no, why did it have to land on that side of that fence? If you look at this fence, you can see that it looks like it has those pointy things. Yep. And it's very high. Yep. I but mean, then I thought, well, maybe it landed somewhere soft. I mean, it could have even landed going straight down here where people have got brick patios. Yes. You know, and uh, been destroyed there. But somehow it there. miraculously <laughs> bounced 20 feet directionally <laughs> into into the palm frond and into into um, old branches and leaves and very softly landed. Yep. So. And no damage. The only damage to it is a wee bit of a scratch on the side. You can't even see that. Nope. There's nothing there. It's not even an otter box. Actually, yeah, it's got a wee, yeah, you can barely see it. Right. Well, it's not an otter box, but it, it's it's a really good one. Yeah, good thing, it's good thing, well because padded. because it does take a fall or two. Took a licking and it keeps on ticking. <laughs>